Cancer Moon, welcome. Welcome to your mini reading from Balmoral Beach here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. I hope you like the location I'm in. I love being here. I have so many good memories of this place. I used to come here in my 20s and hang out with my friends. And I've just had to go and put a, a jumper on and a scarf because it's getting quite cold. It's only, um, it's only five o'clock, but it's getting nice and cool now because we've got winter coming on this half of the globe, on this other side of the globe. So let's take a look at what I've got for you. I've got your chart here. I've got some notes here on my handy little iPad. Don't have the laptop with me. Um, how I'm doing the reading this time is I'm breaking it into two portions. So we've got the future opportunity and we've got the past to deal with. Okay. So what's the future opportunity for you guys this month? So we're looking at Mars Raku conjunct in Gemini. I'm also saying sharing Gemini because they're not, they're not conjunct for the whole time. They share the sign of Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June. 2019 and that's happening in your 12th house so for you guys sleep patterns might be interrupted at this time that's a lot of energy in your 12th house there okay so you might notice that sleep gets disrupted it's really interesting when the Sun was in Pisces uh, and I was traveling I did notice I didn't sleep for something like five days it was quite extraordinary so when I was in Singapore and then when I the first days when I came here um, so yep, sleep patterns can definitely be interrupted with all that activity happening in your 12th house. Now could be a great time to build some exercise into your day. And the key bit is the daily part, right? So with exercise, you know, it's not about you did an hour and then you never went to the gym again. No, you want to be doing a little bit of exercise every day, you know, like five sun salutations every day. That's the idea. How can you build more exercise into your day, right? Uh, and that will help you to sleep better at night too. So it's really a time to eat well, exercise well, and your sleep shouldn't be affected too much. Um, spiritually, this could be a time of restlessness. Mars in that 12th house can be the restless seeker. That you know the truth is out there, but you're not quite sure in which modality it lies. And it's kind of the workshop junkie, you know? It's kind of the person who seeks endlessly and restlessly um, so do that I enjoy that energy seek explore discover um, try new teachers pick up new books find a new astrologer <laughs> or stick with me um, you know engage reinvent your spirituality include new things right so that's the future opportunity that I've identified for you there. What is the past that you're going to have to deal with? Right, well, we've got Jupiter retrograding in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. That's happening in your fifth house. So if you think back to Jan, Feb, March, those months, and have a look at that in terms of your fifth house of creativity, love, romance, any of those kind of things, you might see a repetition of things that were happening Jan, Feb, March. You might see some of that happen again over the next few months. Um, regardless of what old ground you're covering again or old flames or old things that are coming back, this is a great transit for you. So it's great for love, it's great for romance. Perhaps you'll meet an old flame um, or someone you dated in the past, especially for women, Jupiter in retrograde, right? So could meet an ex at that time. Um, great for creativity, great for creative projects. And yeah, you could be covering all ground, definitely. Um, what's happening next door to that Jupiter retrograde? You've got Saturn K2 conjunction happening next door in Sagittarius. So I covered that in a video where I looked at, um, I think I called it a new surge of awakening. So do check that out if you haven't already seen it. But basically through old things or bringing up the past or old things, new light is coming through and because that's happening in your sixth house you'd want to look out for new illumination in how you handle competition or people you consider enemies right so cancer moon that is what i have for you this time the other thing is if you're feeling a bit stuck in the past if you're feeling like not much is happening things are slow you're stagnant or you're a bit down or any of that that means you're stuck in the past somehow. You might be stuck in that Saturn K2 energy. 
go into the future opportunity go where the energy is go to Rahu go into that you know Gemini place and create something new start something new you know even for the sake of it if you have to you know sometimes we just need to thrust ourselves forward into the future or, or throw our energy there and get things moving in that direction right so Cancer Moon I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time hey guys I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene so I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene isn't it stunning